Okay, so welcome back to my channel, guys. Today we're gonna to be doing another fantasy-inspired painting. Uh, this is a 12 by 16 older canvas I primed with black paint. I let it dry, and I've got a few color choices so far. To start, we've got white, turquoise, phthalo blue, lemon yellow, and green gold. So I'm gonna begin working on the background with my number 50 filbert brush. You can use any large blending brush of your choice. And I'm going to take white, a little bit of yellow, I'm just going to start pulling diagonally like this from one corner down towards the other one. Okay, so now I'm going to begin, without washing my brush off, I'm going to begin to add some turquoise. And I'll start by lining my brush up partially over the yellow and white. And I'll start up here. Again, partially layering over the previous color. This way you get a gradual change of color. It just gradiates. Okay, I'm gonna take more turquoise. And I'm going to go into my phthalo with a little bit of turquoise. Just tap lightly along the bottom here. Tap and pull. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Right back into my turquoise and work my way to the outer edge this time with it. and then back in. I'm gonna grab a little bit of water, more yellow. I haven't washed my brush off yet. Just a little bit more water. Just gonna tap along here. And then I'm gonna gently pull up, pulling and flicking. I'll do that again. A little bit more water each time. And then this time, I'm going to take a little bit of white. I'm going to take one of my oval mop brushes here. This is a uh, one inch and I'm going to tap into my phthalo, get quite a bit on there. And I'm just going to start right down here. With a bit of that blue for some bushes. And then right into my green gold. My brush really, really loaded up and saturated. Okay, then I'm going to start this again. Same technique, slightly on top and a little bit above. 
So we have it darker on the bottom and gradually getting lighter. We'll take some more. Tap, making it narrower here. And fuller down here. I'm gonna get a little bit of water on my brush. Just a little bit. I'm gonna pull and tap. We're gonna to begin to create a dramatic perspective now that really makes us feel like we're here in the foreground and this scene invites us in and takes us somewhere. Back into my green gold. I'm gonna create a little bank here along the side, first by tapping and then pulling up. And it starts to connect and kind of blend in with the background. I'll go into my yellow, a little bit of white, that gold again. A little bit more. And I'm going to switch brushes now. I'm going to go over to my number 12 Filbert brush. Get a little bit of water on my brush. Go back into my green. take a little bit of that yellow white mixture with my green gold now and start pulling little lines across like that for a path and then we're gonna bring this right over here to the center so we feel like we're standing right here and we're going to walk right into this painting Be generous with your paint and not push too hard because the paint, the layer of paint underneath is still wet. Then I'm going to come along here. And I guess we've got some stairs leading up here off to who knows where something awaits. Just going to soften this a little bit. And then with the paint that I kind of just blended off, I'm going to use for more shadows here on the stairs. Then I'm going to go right back in to my white, a little bit of yellow. Just kind of load the tip of my brush. And we're just gonna go liner brush up right on the top of each step. So that we have some pretty light hitting each one. Now I'm going to take one of my round mop brushes. It's dry. I'm going to take some more of my green gold, a little bit of white, and I'm going to add some little bushes on either side. Or maybe we'll just put them 
just on this side. See how it starts to curve around and it's wider right here. And it kind of just gets lost in the background and kind of fuzzy looking like some clouds. I guess we could have a few along here. lighter ones here. Take some more of what's left on our palette. can start adding something along this side. Let's see what this develops into. Take one of my filbert brushes. It's a number 16. I'm going to get it a little bit wet. I'm going to gently Start to scumble and loosen off. All I'm doing is just gently scrubbing with only a little bit of water to loosen up some of this paint. So we're gently blending it into that blue, dark, dark blue underneath. And then I'm going to go back and use this brush for creating some foliage that's a little bit tighter and smaller just because I can control the size of these little bushes better now where I need to get in these smaller areas with this size of a brush. And we'll add little bits here on either side. See how I'm leaving that dark line underneath? Helps to create that 3D effect, light and shadow. Just by tapping like this, we can create some ferns maybe on this side. And if we want, we can add a bit of blue there to make some of these a bit darker. Tap, tap, and then let off. And come over. Take a little bit of that yellow-white mixture and layer. We'll start to turn it around and create that twisted curvy looking type of fern and then layer over. It's kind of fun to have a few 
and then maybe they're coming down from here and they're just going to start to get a little bit blurrier. And it's not until they come down here that they're a bit more in focus. So kind of just, we don't want our eye to be drawn to every single thing in the painting. We want to have blurry areas and more detailed and in full focus areas. Maybe this kind of just starts to connect and grow into the stairs. I'm going to add another highlight here. When working on a black canvas and just in general, acrylic paint dries darker. So it's quite normal to have to go back and add more highlights. And don't worry if any of your highlights are a little bit too bright. You can always add a filter of green or yellow or green gold. Just got a little bit more of my turquoise. I'll take a bit of yellow, white. With that turquoise, get a nice amount on the end of my brush. And I'll just start adding some little plants here too. Some little ferns, whatever they end up looking like. can add some turquoise ones over here too. And get a little bit of water on my brush, turquoise, work out any of that green that might be in my brush still. add a little bit of light on this path. Remember not to cover up all of the dark paint underneath. We want to have that for some shadow. Take a bit of white with my turquoise. OK, 
And I'm going to go and use my flat brush, and I believe this is a number eight. And I'll take some of my turquoise, a little bit of white, and maybe I'll have a little, a little cottager type of fairy kingdom, something here. Just a few little lines. Take a little bit of yellow, white, and turquoise. See, each time I add on a wing to this little castle, I leave a line for that shadow and then kind of just scoop across like this and it'll give it more of a, a round shape. And same with the turrets. And let's go up and over with a bit of our yellow and white. There's another one back here to make it skinnier. And we'll have another one tucked back there in the distance. Take a little bit of white. Do some little dabs. I'm just making it all up as I go along. I don't have a reference photo. You guys can just paint whatever kind of little house or castle that you want. Or follow along to this one. It's going to come inside with a little bit more white. Brighten up as it sets into the black canvas it's going to be a bit darker each time it dries and then maybe there's a little flag I'm going to take some more white now. A little bit of light inside of here. To 
cleaning my brush off, I'm going to take a little bit of my phthalo blue and I'm just going to do a few little dabs like this. Wherever I need some shadow or some little windows. And then right here, where I came up a little bit too high with them. You can just pull that right off. And then I'll just add a little bit of my phthalo right in there. Add a little bit of phthalo to these stairs. And then leave this lighter trailing off up there with just a hint of water in my brush and a bit of that blue. See, it's not dripping. We're going to add some shadow down here. So I'm going to scumble, slide in my brush, gently pushing. Add a little bit over here. We've got some different leaves here on this side. Sort of heart shaped. Bigger leaves. Just so much fun to layer. And then we can come in with a little bit of turquoise. I think I'm going to bring a branch or a tree trunk here. I'm not going to switch my brush. I'm just going to use this one. It's pretty skinny. And if I hold it like this, I can use it like a liner. I'm going to go right off the canvas with it and then push and wiggle right over some of those ferns that we have. Bring these tree roots right into the foreground with a little bit of turquoise. We can add a highlight. Kind of just barely touch those roots and just pull and drag. And then we're going to come up and over with some more of phthalo blue. I think I want to make this stand out a little bit more. I'm going to make this tree trunk thicker so, so you can easily go over top and do that. It makes sense to bring this branch out over top, right? Because the castle is small, so it means it's in, in a distance.
I'm gonna go underneath these tree roots and make them stand out, pull and wiggle. Take some more of my turquoise. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to create some clouds in here and I want to keep within this diagonal flow that we've got to our painting. And I'm using another filbert brush. This one's a bit longer and it's number four. I'm going to take my white, a bit of that blue, there's a little bit of green in there, as long as it's lighter than the background. So whatever color you want to use. If it's too dark, then just add a little bit of white. So I'm going to start right about here and I'm going to create scoops. So see it needs to be lighter there, so I'm going to grab and use more white now. And then when you get the hang of it, you can start doing a little bit quicker. It's actually really fun and easier to do it quicker, I find. If we take our time and overthink it, sometimes it ends up just looking too sort of contrived and uniform. You don't want, you want to stay away from that perfect uniform look. You want to make it look more natural or as natural as you can. So as we get out here, they're smaller there. And then as we get out here, I'm going to make larger scoops. And just scumble right over here. Make it look like it's there's some fog and the castles up in the clouds. Then we can start to layer over with some more white. And keep in mind, if it's too white, you can always filter over with another color once it's dry. So smaller, smaller, tighter together. I'm going to take what's left of my blue. And just add a little bit underneath here. And I'm going to start adding some weeping willows, something cascading down here. It's nice to have something going straight up and down. We've got the diagonal angle. We've got straight across. We've got our tree going up. And just for a sense of balance, and this is just completely, you know, personal. You can do what you want. I feel like I need to have. I can't explain why. I just know that I need to have something dangling right there. I'm still just using my filbert brush. You can tap like that just to create that cascading foliage. Then with some turquoise, maybe this is a really big tree and it's wrapping around and it's coming down here. And then over on this side, we'll have some too. I want to be careful though not to cover up my castle. I like it. It's a cute little castle there and I don't want to hide it. And 
And here is nice because as I'm going over this tree branch here, I'm picking up a little bit of that blue, which is helpful because I'm out of blue on my palette, but I need it to be a bit darker here as we're getting over a lighter area. That turquoise won't show up as much. So I can kind of just use that right in here. And then back into some turquoise up here. Now I normally add a lot of color with my, or within my fantasy landscapes. And I have been using a lot of color lately, but I'm kind of really enjoying this, all this green. So I think that I might, probably gonna leave it within just these colors here. Okay, I'm going to start to add some more leaves now. Just with my turquoise. So I'm going to just layer over. And then I'll go into my yellow, white, and turquoise. I'm going to add that yellow, white, and turquoise in here a bit. And maybe we'll have some ferns kind of within here. Maybe some little mushrooms. So just like half a circle. And then with a little liner brush, or whatever size liner brush you have, just pull up some skinny little lines. I'm going to add a little bit more white inside here. I feel like I just, maybe I can get away with one more pillar. Kind of just fading away. It sets it into the distance there. You can see I've decided to change this up again down here. I'm going to add more and make these mushrooms. A few different sizes. One right here. And a few little ones.
So you can just make all sorts of foliage, however you like. You can do the leaves. You can have these little mushrooms. Even add some little spots to this one. Okay, well, I'm going to call this one done. I hope you enjoyed watching this and you enjoyed painting along with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and check out the links below in the description as well as the full list of colors and brushes and canvas we're using today. Take care, everybody. See you soon. Bye!